Hi, I'm Wanda. And I'm Paula. And we're from Melinda Craft. And today we're going to show you how to make these lovely tote bags from just three tea towels. That's right, just three simple tea towels is all you need to make this. Nothing else other than some thread and your sewing machine. So the size of the tea towels doesn't really matter too much. No, because the bag that you end up with will be the size of whatever tea towels you've chosen. So this bag here was made from some small tea towels. And this one's from larger tea towels, as you can see there. So you also have a rounded bag, rounded corners here. And this one's got the squared off yeah. corners. So we're going to show you how to do both of those. The handles are made out of one tea towel, the outside from another tea towel and the inside lining from the third tea towel. So, and they are reversible. So your inside can be your outside if you wish. You can just turn them inside out and it becomes a whole new bag. So they're really, really super easy to make. Um, you'll have these whipped up in no time, really. You can have it whipped up in a, an hour or so, do you think? Mm, yes, you yes. You can use a sewing machine and sew a straight line. And you can make these. You can make these. They're really There's simple. one little trick that we'll teach you uh, so that you don't trip up, because if you don't do it the way we show you, you'll end up with just a mess. That's right. So, right, so let's get to okay. it. Okay. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut off the side seams. Now, the reason I'm doing that is simply because it's too thick. I have made one of the bags with the, the side seams in and it just became a nightmare at the end, especially on the corners. So I find it easier just to cut off these seams. We just use a rotary cutter and then just make sure that your two pieces are the same size. That's right, you can unpick them if you wish. If you'd rather just unpick the seams, by all means do so, but we just find it's quicker and easier just to, to slice it down with a rot rotary cutter all around the sides. Because the idea of this bag is something quick and easy. That's right, so... So let's get to it. Okay. Okay, so we now have our two pieces of material cut to size and also our handles. Now what I'm going to do is just iron the handles so that they're all nicely creased ready to sew. So the first thing I'm going to do is iron them in half. A nice sharp crease, Oops. like that, and then open them and fold the outside bits into the centre. and then fold them over again. There we go, it's ready to sew. sewing the handles and if you'd like to stop there for a second Wanda mm -hmm. you'll notice that the fold is there so what we're doing is sewing along here about it's about a sixteenth of an inch but yeah. you can make them however you you can see here how long how wide you like this is just how I like them yeah okay oh, and I'm using white so that you can see it yeah so normally you'd probably use a pink maybe to match the um, material I'm just going to turn it round and sew up the other side again. So on this side you can see there was no join. So it's up to you, you don't have to sew along there if you don't want to, but it really looks a lot better when you've got two sew lines along the handle. Just a neater finish. Yeah.
and there you have it so that's your handle there okay so we're now at the point where we're going to start assembling the bag now I have my right side facing upwards so just remember that you can't tell very well with this material but just remember right side up and we're going to attach our handles now I'm going to do is measure in four and a half inches from the side I'm using a friction pen uh, which is brilliant because what happens is when you iron the fabric the marks all just disappear far down there it's just to give you a guide as to where you're going to place your handles okay so Put, get your handles the way you want them. I've decided I want the two stripes because they match on the outside of the bag. Um, just my choice. So I'm going to pin the handle, making sure that the mark is halfway between the edges. It doesn't have to be exact, so don't worry if you don't get it totally but it is nice to have it in, in that spot okay make sure everything is sitting right yes so when the bag is together the handle will have my marks and it's not twisted so just take a bit of time with doing your hand putting your handles on because they can twist and then you'll have to unpick them again Now you can sew these, you can hand sew them on, you could put a basting stitch across to hold the handles there, I'm just going to pin. Right, so there we are, handles are on, yes, they're not twisted. Okay, so now I'm going to take my piece of lining, and again, make sure that the right side this time is facing down. So we want our right sides together. So, let's put that over. And I'm going to pin these together. I use a half inch seam when I'm making a bag simply because it catches everything in nicely. As we said at the start, this is a different, a bit of a different way for making a bag. I'll take that pin out, put it into the lining. Okay. Because what I'm going to do is leave a gap, so about four, four or five inches between the handles. Okay. And we're going to turn our bag through this hand, through this when it's at that stage. The other end, I'm going to pin and sew right across, so there'll be no opening at this end. Alright, so remember, we're going to sew one end completely across, and the other end we're going to leave an opening of about four inches. Make sure your handles are tucked nicely in out of the way so that you don't catch them when you're stitching. And we'll go and sew this and we'll do a half inch seam. 
Okay, so now we're going to sew our bag together. So the first side I'm going to sew is the straight side with the handles. Just back stitch, just to hold it all. Okay. I'm doing a half inch seam. Just slow down a little bit when you're going over the handle part. I'm going to sew the other end. Now remember we left a space here so that we can turn our bag through when we've finished sewing all the seams. So I'll leave about four to five inches. Just backstitch that to give it a bit of strength when you're pulling the bag through. It's got itself a little bit off-centre. That's our bag sewn at this point. So we've just sewn the ends with the handles. Left a space here. Turn it through. This one we've sewn right across. So now we'll go and show you the trick for making this bag. So here we are back at the cutting table. Now this is my edge that I've sewn straight across. And on this edge I've left the, the gap, remember? So we did that at the Room to go. Handles are sitting nicely here. Now here's the tricky part. I'm going to lift up both edges of the lining and the main part. Give it a shake and you can see now my lining is on both sides. Here's my opening and my handles are now at the top. Remember? They were at the ends so here's my handles at each end. By flipping the bag my handles are now in the position I'll be when the bag's finished. So, now I'm going to just go on to the next step and I'll need to pin the seams, just, the, just, the, just to hold them together. Okay, now at the beginning of the video we said but if you wanted to have a bag with the straight edge, that's what it'll look like. And if you want that, you'll need to miss this next step, which is going to give us this nice curved edge. Choice is yours. So, to make the curved edge, just need to make sure that everything is... handles to lay flat a bit better. Okay, now, let's further down. We're going to bring this edge over here. So we now have our two pieces. This is our lining. This is our main piece. Together, smooth them down. Make sure that they're level. Okay, take a plate, it can be any sort of plate, 
and just place it on the edge there. Take your friction pen. Remember, be careful you don't use a ballpoint. And just draw your line around the plate. to use my scissors and cut through all four layers. sides. If you have stripes make sure that you match them up. There's nothing worse than mismatched stripes on a bag or a piece of clothing. Match them as much as close as possible. I'm the queen of pinning. I know lots of people just eyeball stuff and go for it but I like to make sure that everything's going to work out for me so I tend to pin. Okay so that uh, work its way in. Unfortunately uh, the, one of the tea towels I'm working with here is very stretchy so I just have to be a little careful to work the two together. Right, so there we go, we're ready to sew, and that'll be the next step. Okay, so I find it easier to sew from the top seam, so that I can work on my edges. I find starting at the curved edge makes it a little um, harder to manage. So I start at the middle, and just taking our half inch seam as before. There's no rush, it's no race. Got your curve going quite nicely. And then just run it off. Okay. And we'll do the same the other side.
Okay, so we've sewn them all. And now we're going to turn the bag over and just make sure everything looks right. Now just to go over what we've just done, I sewed from the middle down and around the curve simply because I find it gives me more control. So there we go, nice and curved. Uh, you can start from the bottom and curve up if you wish. If you're quite confident doing that, then by all means do. So now what we're going to do is, so the bag sits nicely, is we're going to clip some seams. Now make sure you don't clip through the seam line. All right, so let's cut some Vs. So that should help it sit nice when we come bring it through. And here we go. Here is our opening. Just going to reach in and pull the bag through to the front. Just keep gently pulling till it all comes through. Push the lining through to the, into the bag. Oh. Okay. Just push your fingers in around the curve just to make it sit nice. And now we're nearly we're at the last step. Right, and for this I'm going to pin around the top and do a top stitch. And you'll be finished. You have a bag. How simple is that? And we'll just top stitch over our opening as well. Right. Go to the machine and do that. Okay, so we're going to do a top stitch now. I tend to start just a little in from one of the seam lines, and there we go. Just keep an eye that you have to this folded in. Stitch. Oops. And away we go. So here we are. We have our bag. It's finished. You can see here that I've top stitched around the top to keep everything nice and neat and to give that nice finish. So out of three tea towels, you have a lovely, fun bag. Thank you for watching.